Police officers are pretty good at getting confessions. Lots of them go to classes and seminars to better understand how to extract confessions out of people. Confessions are a very important tool for law enforcement, but sometimes officers can cross the line from a voluntary statement to an involuntary statement. Our laws in the United States and in Arizona are very, very clear on this. The Due Process Clause absolutely prohibits involuntary statements from being admitted in court. What that means is if you've been coerced into a confession, it can't be used against you. It can't even be used for impeachment. Even if you took the stand and said something completely different, it can't, if a judge finds it's con uh, coerced, they can't even use that to say you made an inconsistent statement earlier. However, proving that it's coerced statement is completely different. You have to get an attorney who can raise the issue first of all. The judge will generally set a hearing and the state will have to provide information to convince the judge that it's not a coerced confession. There are many different factors that can come into play into that analysis. For example, uh, how big or small was the room that you were in? How long were you in this interview process? How many officers were there? Did they have guns? Were you threatened? Were you made promises? Things like that. All of that goes into the mix to determine whether the statement was voluntary or involuntary. Or involuntary. And there are many, many cases that sort of lay out the guidelines for uh, coerced confessions versus voluntary statements. All of this is important. These are all reasons why it's important that if you think you've maybe made a statement that could be coerced, it's important to talk to an experienced criminal defense attorney so we can get to the bottom of it.